Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be reviewing and discussing Meet Cute by Helena Hunting. <laughs> So if you didn't know, Meet Cute was the lovely ladies book club pick for the month of July. Um, we did a live show and everything, so be sure to check that out. I will link it down below. If you want more in-depth thoughts, be sure to go check out that video. And if you want to know Jen and Ash's opinion, go check out them as well. So I'm going to be splitting this review up into two separate parts. I'm going to try and keep this review short and sweet because I've talked about it a lot. Uh, the first is going to be spoiler free, so I'll discuss what this book is about, the summary and everything. So this is about two main characters, Kaylin and Dax. Dax grew up as a childhood actor. I kind of picture him as, I think it's Corey Matthews from Boy Meets World. I think of him as that. He grew up on a TV show and Kaylin grew up watching this TV show and absolutely loving this main character, was a hardcore fangirl for this entire TV series. During, I believe her first day of law school, um, she ends up having a meet cute with Daxton because Daxton ends up retiring from the acting world to become a lawyer and while he's on campus they have a little meet cute. She ends up basically falling on top of him, toppling over him. She's a really clumsy main character and she sees him and ends up having a full-blown fangirl episode in front of him because it's Daxton like her childhood crush, you know what I mean? And turns out they also have a class together in law school. They end up kind of bickering and fighting with each other and having debates with each other during this class. Nothing ever happens between them but both of them think that the other person is really attractive and really cute but they don't really do anything to further the relationship in college. But this book takes place eight or ten years after that. Daxton and his parents go see Kaylin, not knowing it's Kaylin from um, his law school days to set up a trust fund for um, Dax's little sister who's 13. Kaylin just so happens to be the trust lawyer that they meet with so that's how they meet at the beginning of the book. And so it's them kind of reconnecting. Daxton ends up needing Kaylin's help for something because a big tragedy has struck his family and he really needs Kaylin's help and advice in a certain area of his family. So this book deals a lot with grief but it's also a rom-com. Overall we all think that this book would have been a lot better if it was kind of two separate books. One of the rom-com and the other the like more serious topics. We just thought it would probably be a better story if it was either or and not together because at points we were kind of confused as to why this was in a rom-com you know what i mean i found the characters really cute to read about um i love kaylin's like fangirl-esque personality because i have that personality i really loved dax's little sister emmy she was my favorite character in the whole book though she's 13 <laughs> and um she's like going through puberty in this book so uh i felt with her a lot throughout this novel also dax and caitlin's banter was really really great i really enjoyed that and um the ending scene i thought was really really wonderful but the thing is there are just certain aspects in this book that i don't think <laughs> is needed at all <laughs> there's like an evil main character in here where I didn't I didn't think she was needed basically at all you know what I mean there's kind of like a, a little bit of a mystery aspect in here too I didn't think that was should have been a part of the rom-com I'm I don't like mystery books a lot or anything like that where you're trying to figure something out or the character is trying to figure something out because I guess it every single time at the beginning and I just find that if the characters don't know who this person is and like it's blatantly obvious, like I think the characters are so stupid. So at times I thought Dax and Caitlin were so stupid because things were obviously put in front of them. They chose not to look at that clearly could have told them how to solve this mystery in the book. Anyway, I think that's all I can say about this without spoiling anything. So, uh... If you don't want to get spoiled, click off now and then when you've read the book, be sure to come back and tune in. Okay, so I just want to get this off my chest that I did not think that Aunt Linda was necessary in this book. We talked about in the live show how this book would have been way better if it was split up into two separate books. Jen and Ashley and I really wanted 
like that college-esque environment of where Dax and Kaylin first met. We wanted that to be the book mainly, to be honest with you. I would have loved like the college-esque scene, them maybe falling in love in college and all that stuff. But when you add in like the custody battle and their parents dying and the mystery and all that stuff, I was just like, there's a lot going on in this book, which I didn't think all that needed to happen in this one romance book. It's could have been two different books. It could have been one dealing with grief and then it could have been a cute little rom-com set in college while they're trying to become lawyers. We think that would have probably been better to be honest with you. I would have loved that. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed this book but I thought it would have been way better if she just chose one route to go if you know what I mean because I would have read either book. I, I loved how grief was dealt with in this book. Um, like Emmy's grief I think was a great representation of grief but I didn't think it was necessary in this rom-com book you know what I mean again yeah Aunt Linda didn't like her at all knew it was her from the very beginning and I found Kaylin and Dax to be so stupid that they couldn't like figure out that it was the aunt the whole time doing all of this stuff like I made a point in um, the live show how there's like that alcohol scene where like they found alcohol in Emmy's locker when they could have to solve all this just like looked at the school cameras and saw what happened and like that wasn't addressed like at all in this book so I just kept thinking like you could have just you could you could have just looked at the cameras in the hallways because all schools have video cameras in their hallways <laughs> but uh yeah I did not enjoy the part with Linda I found it not so great. I agree with Jen who talked about this in the live show how she was like wanting like a full-blown like scene where you get to see like the custody battle between Dax and Aunt Linda. That would have been cool to read about but I kind of knew that wasn't gonna happen by how long we have le had left in the book. My favorite scene was of course the Emmy getting her period scene. I just I loved I don't know why I loved that scene so much favorite scene in the whole book and then I really enjoyed also how Kaylin helped Dax go and buy all the feminine products and Dax picked out adult diapers <laughs> for Emmy you would think that a lawyer would be smarter and um, read read the box before putting something in his shopping cart <laughs> Um, I would think adult diapers would obviously say adult diapers. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he was really scatterbrained that uh, his baby sister was getting her period for the first time. I really enjoyed Kaylin and Dax's relationship at points. I thought that it was way too insta-lovey for my taste. It was kind of hate to love, but there wasn't really any hate before the love, if you know what I mean. There was very little. They end up like jumping into things very, very quickly. And they claim like, oh, I know you, I went to, I went to college with you. But um, it's been what, like eight or 10 years since then. And you honestly don't really know them since it's been that long. So I don't know, I found it kind of like insta lovey for them to get together as quick as they did. I honestly can't think of anything else about this book to talk about. So I'm gonna leave it there, I think. Um, if you want to know more about this book and more in-depth thoughts, be sure to check out the live show that is linked down below. Um, I also talk about it a little bit in my July wrap up. So you can watch that too, that will be linked down below. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. Please let me know if you've read this book and what you thought about it. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching and I'll see y'all soon with a new video. Bye. Mm -hmm.